Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm going to show you how to make an incredibly delicious cranberry barbecue meatball recipe that is super easy to make. So let's get started. To make the meatballs, you're going to need some freshly chopped onions and garlic. Go ahead and throw that into your ground beef. Add some Italian breadcrumbs, some eggs, I'm also adding some whole milk, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and last season with salt and pepper to taste. Mix this together, make sure everything is very well combined. So once you have everything nice and mixed in, you're going to roll your meat into nice little balls just like that and place them on your baking sheet. Make sure your baking sheet is lined with aluminum foil and sprayed with non-stick spray. So when you have your meat rolled and ready, you're going to bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 20 minutes or until the center is no longer pink. So while the meatballs are baking, I'm going to start making the cranberry barbecue sauce. So in a hot skillet, I'm adding in some cranberry sauce and you're going to add your favorite spicy barbecue sauce. Last, add in some beef broth and you're going to mix everything together and let this cook for about 10 minutes on medium heat to thicken up just a little bit. So when your sauce is nice and thick, you're going to add in your freshly baked meatballs. So you're going to coat the meatballs in your yummy sauce and let it cook on medium heat for about 5 minutes. Finish this with some freshly chopped parsley for flavor and it is ready to serve. These were some really good homemade meatballs. They beat store-bought meatballs any day. You know exactly what ingredients you're putting in your meatballs and they're way healthier than store-bought meatballs. If you want the ingredients and measurement, check out the description box. I have everything there. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I really hope you try out this recipe. And if you do, don't forget to let me know how you like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already yet because I have a lot more delicious recipes to come. Bye!